Hello, everyone. Um, while I was a bit under the weather, uh, Leonardo decided to make some changes, and I wanted to share some. I, specifically, the ones in editing Canvas, which I was I I did something yesterday, and I was like, oh my gosh, I can use them. But before that, I saw three new fine tuning models here: Dream Shaper Seven, which looks like they really brought the photorealism game up in Dream Shaper. I love Dream Shaper 6. This one looks more like RPG 4.0, so I'll be interested to see how that works. 3D animation style. When I saw that, I was, I was like, I honestly thought I was looking at a movie. So it really does bring that film-like quality. I mean, look at this. This is something that probably would have passed for Encanto. Beautiful image. This would have gone for Encanto. This is the type of 3D uh, modeling that, that this feature model does do. Oh, I love the cute little Hulk. Yeah, that's kind of pretty. Um, and yeah, it really is. It's really so. I look forward to finding some excuse for that. And then there is this: the absolute reality version 1.6. I thought this was absolutely. It was stunning when I saw this picture. Um, and then we had some other renders here for it. So they are definitely. There's a good amount of. Uh, of change here. Great models that I will, like I said, I will find it. Uh, but what I wanted to do is I wanted to go into the canvas. Um, before I do that, let me go into the generation because uh, there are a couple of images I wanted to, one image I wanted to take a look at. So this is from um, Alchemy. I was playing around with it up until they told me to stop, basically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab. Let me grab this image right here. It's a very cool image. Um, and I wanted to expand it a little bit. Actually, no, not this one. I'll go for this This, this one's got the... Yeah, I'm going to be expanding this image and, and playing around with it in Canvas to show you guys the changes that are in there. The changes that I was like, oh my gosh, I can do so much more in Canvas now. And I got very excited. So let's go ahead and drop this down. Okay. First of all, on let me go through this little menu here. You'll see that we have the hand, which as I said, if you want to move the, remember, if you want to move the actual thing, the actual canvas, you use the hand. If you want to you just use the box, you use the selector tool. And they have the mask, they have the eraser, and they also have a sketch. You can do sketch in here. It, I was like, I'll show you guys that. Um, okay, so on the right here, we got... Now, usually I change Stable Diffusion. I was about to change it to Stable Diffusion 2.1 when I was doing something yesterday. I opened it up like I can change to any other model that I want. So if I'm doing something in RPG and I want to stay with RPG, I can keep it in RPG. 3D animation style, any one. I can, even, I can select the custom model from here. So you have a lot more freedom of the, with the model you want to use in Canvas now. You also have... Um, the out painting and the in painting, this is new, so you can choose to just, if you don't want to extend the the, the, the photo or the image, you just take off out paint, but as far as I'm concerned, anything's game, so it's on automatically and so is in paint. This part was the part that got me. When you click, you want to do in paint, out paint, fine, but you can also do all of these. You can generate images straight, which I think you could do that before. I'd never tried it because I'd always just brought my images from either my computer or from one of my generations in here. So I've never tried that. I suspect it's the same thing. In paint, out paint, which is what we're what I'm gonna do now. The image to image, you can actually grab an image and just like you do in, in the actual Leonardo image generation section. And you could do a sketch to an image. You could do that here. And I was like, I was bowled over by the fact that you could just sketch something in the picture and get it done. And I did that yesterday and I was fascinated. All right. So let's go ahead and do, um, actually, let me do a sketch to image. So I'm in the sketch to image mode, which means that I'm going to be using this dude right here. Actually, before that, let me move over this thing a little bit bigger. I'm going to use this thing. 
So what you have here is that when you just, in case you didn't see that, okay, when you clicked on, you see a little a menu cliff here. Now with this menu, you have to be, um, you're going to pick a uh, color and then you're going to work with that color. Because what I did yesterday was that I said, okay, I wanted to do like a yellow orb. I was doing something for Nardo, my Nardo avatar. And I wanted to do a yellow orb and I just chose like a white one. It came out with just a few orb or whatever it was. If you want to do something in a particular color, you need to kind of choose the color. Now, what you can do is you have a couple of options. You can actually go ahead and choose a color from the palette. Or if you're looking to just do something specific that matches the theme of the picture, you can go ahead and just, you know, like her color, choose that particular shade right there. Same thing as, as if you've ever used any kind of, um, you know, if you use like Pick Monkey or iPick, it's probably the same thing um, as the thing. So as the, the, the dropper. So what you can do is that since you're trying to, um, you know, create an image within it, which is in painting. So you can go ahead and do the rough approximation of the image. Now, in this case, I'm just going to try my best. I'll just paint the image like this. I have an idea of what I want. Like, or make it actually a pretty good size. Okay. All right, so, and um, another thing that I did was that I brought in my generation info. For example, I brought in my negative prompt and I put it in here for this particular um, generation, this particular render. And I also brought in my regular prompt. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use, um, I'm gonna put in like a, a goblet. So I wanna put like a bejeweled goblet Floating in the air, or just glowing. Glowing. Jeweled goblets. Alright, so let's go ahead and see how this comes out. Yeah, it actually inputs automatic mask and then override defaults, which I, I just left the defaults as they were. Okay, that looks kind of interesting, but no, it won't do it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, it has a very effect. It's like it's torn into the... I, I kind of like it. I didn't mean for that to happen, but it did. Um, so yeah, I have a... I, it looks like I'm going to choose this one because this one's just plain cool. Yeah, it's like it basically just tore through the image and is showing a goblet. So that's basically what the sketch to image is. You just create the image in the color that you want. And then you go ahead and you alter your prompt to give you that render. Um, and you can choose, like I said, you can choose whatever you want. Apparently, I'm not too scared of default of, of, sta of stable diffusion right now. Um, and I'm, I'm very happy that it's it adhered to the style and the appearance of the picture. So it really does pick up on the elements in the picture and tries to match it as, as, as beautifully as possible. And um, even when I'm doing out painting, let me just take a look and see here. So I've edited the, uh, from the original, I'm gonna go ahead. So I've edited from the original. I'm gonna go ahead and bring back the first part Super I can't remember one thing I, I realize that I'm, I'm not too fond of is the actual prompt itself the prompt it's like it doesn't really expand to give me an idea it's just like it doesn't have a text wrap so it's just straight text so I have to sit there and go back and forth but that's it's like woman short black hair 
All right, so let's go ahead and do just a quick out painting exercise on this and see how it goes and see what it comes up with. Even in sketch to image mode, I wanted to see if there's if if it needed to do anything. I need to change it to the MP LP. Okay, apparently I do. All right, no problem. All right, so let's cancel this. So you really do need to change it back to in paint out paint. And so everything's back to there. Let's go ahead and generate. So don't waste tokens like I did. Switch to in paint out paint first. Fine, load exactly. Oh, she looks pretty fine. Oh, I love how. Oh, she looks dangerous. Nah. I kind of like this one. She looks like. Yeah, I like her. She looks kind of dangerous. I'll set this one. So it really does keep, uh, you know, stem fusion. It does really keep it pretty, pretty long. And if I wanted to do, um, I'm gonna finish this off right here. And when I finish this off, I'll get back to the other piece. Thanks so much for your time. If you could like this video, if you find it useful, it'll help me to figure out what kind of content you want to see. And then there's the YouTube algorithm thing. Yep, we all know how that goes, so thanks for your time, and let's get back. Okay, so now that I have finished whatever she is, she looks awesome, um, I'm going to try something. I wanted to see if I could do something in a different model in in paint out paint in with this right here. So I'm actually going to sketch something. Um, we'll go. Let me go back to... Let me try and sketch, see what happens. Okay. One thing I did want to do, I'm sorry about that, but I did want to do a quick, I want to do a specific one. Could be a mouth hand. Great. So let's go with. Alright, so I'm going to a nasty hand. I'm going to actually switch to, I'll do Dream Shape of 7 and see what happens. Nasty hand. We choose a goblet. Okay, we're in sealable score then what this if I could actually get that done as it was, or if I needed to do something as far as if I needed to do a masking of it and then try it, we'll see what happens. Oh, okay. Okay, that's pretty cool. It's very creepy. Okay. So you do, you can definitely use the sketch tool in InPaint and get a pretty good result for what you want. That's what I wanted to check. And I wanted to see if it was in Dream Shape or 7. Oh my gosh, I, like I said, I will find any excuse to actually play around with any of those. So I'm good with it. So yeah, it's just to give you an idea that this is going to be very interesting. When you go into Edit in Canvas, it's now expanded to the point where you can do so much more with it. And you can play around with it a lot. And, and, you know, if you want to sketch something and just put your idea in there and have it come up with something that mimics your idea, even more so than before. This is fantastic. So I hope you enjoyed this because I know I did. And I'm going to continue to enjoy this. So if anything, um, let me know in the comments if you gave it a try and see how it worked. And if you have tried something and just want to, you know, share your results, great. So... Thanks for your time and I'll see you in the next video.